Hello and welcome to Death to All, Episode 7. And today, we're going to celebrate by destroying the last seven population centers that are not Vivek. Which will have its own episode and possibly two episodes. It is quite a large city after all. But today, we're going to start with one of those seven population centers left, which is Ghost Gate. I'll go ahead and destroy the camp that's directly outside of Ghost Gate. You in well. Surrender your life to me and I will end your pain. That was a pretty dramatic uh, little backflip there. Shall start with the Tower of Dusk. Now this place is filled with high-level enemies, so this will not be particularly easy. Oh, what is this about? Start with Galdal Omain. Now you die. Let me live. There's no escape. Let me live. <clears throat> you will die. I haven't been paralyzed yet, so that's good. <clears throat> We're about to pick up two uniques here as well. Once this person actually dies, there we go. Galdal Omain carries the Daedric Face of Inspiration, one of uh, only a few Daedric helmets in the entire game. Good thing we didn't get hit by that, someone could have paralyzed me. Wouldn't that have been fun? For the, like, millionth time for this playthrough. And on Draline Linum, there is Oriel's Shield. That appears to be everybody on the upper level of the Tower of Dusk. So we're going to head down into the lower level. What is it, Outlander? Suppose we'll start with you. There is no escape! That's a lot of people. That's a lot of angry... That is a lot of angry Dunmer. And of course I've been paralyzed, but I came prepared this time. Get fucked, idiots. I gotta cure paralyzation. I cannot believe this keeps happening. I know it's this guy in front of me. Get get reflected, idiot. And I fucking died. At least this time I know who to go for first. All right, now let's try this again. And attacking the right person this time, and I've already taken a bunch of strength potions. Not taking any chances with this asshole. And another one had it. Thank you. 
Even after popping a bunch of strength potions, that was still extremely nerve-wracking. But that is everybody in the Tower of Dusk at last. And on Enar Drellor's body, he has the Daedric face of terror. I would wear it, but I'm specced into medium armor, and I honestly need all the armor I can get at this point. I'm going to take advantage of these strength potions while I have them and attack the Tower of Dawn. But first, we visit the temple that lies in between. You will die! Now for the Tower of Dawn. Uh, strength potions really came in clutch there. And now to the lower level, to finish off Ghostgate once and for all. You will suffer greatly! May our lords be massive. And with that, the Towers of Dusk and Dawn, as well as the Temple in Between, have fallen, and Ghostgate is no more. Shall take what we want from the vaults, and then we shall depart to our next destination, which is Ebonheart. Back in the Tower of Dawn, on Rallin Othravel, you can get Auriel's bow. So it's definitely worth stopping and taking that if you are, especially if you're a marksman. It's, it's literally one of the best bows in the game. Well, all right, we're on our way to Ebonheart, but I figured while we're going over St. Anin, we might as well stop and pay a visit to an old friend we left here in episode one. I said I'd come back for you, and I have. Goodbye, my friend. Now you die. It's coming soon, y'all. The Vevec episode, and perhaps a t it might perhaps be a two-parter. Vevec has a substantial percentage of the population of Vardenfell in it, but after last episode, there's one less inhabitant. We're about to be rushed by guards. You can already see their angry text boxes. Going to take off my levitation amulet and let the combat begin. Sunder unfortunately decreases my range a bit that I was used to with Chrysomir, but it's okay. I am adjusting. That was the initial rush of guards to try to stop the onslaught, but they failed. Start with the East Empire Company Hall. You'll escape me that easily. There's absolutely no reaction from anyone in this place other than the guard. You look ravaged. Kanktunian Ponius. I've trifled with you long enough. You should also see a healer, dickhead. Oh, look at this skooma addict. 
This good skooma pipe and his moon sugar. I'm gonna take this for myself. You don't deserve to live. <gasps> Gale doll has a book on him called I'm My Own Grandpa. Very interesting. I'm My Own Grandpa by Gildol. The funniest wood elf ever. Why did the dark elf cross the road? How many orcs does it take to light a torch? Depends. Is an orc doing the counting? What is green and hops and sizzles on lava? An orc acrobat. If a wood elf mime falls in a forest, who cares? If you drop a Khajiit headfirst from a great height, will it land on its feet? Not if you cut off the feet first. I am honestly glad you are dead, Gildal. Beg for mercy, snowman. It's about time I had some fun. Here it comes. You will suffer greatly. Coward! I want to conserve some of my potions, so I really need a bed. Surrender now, and I might let you live. You should have picked an easier opponent. Now, this is fighting. You've lost this round. All right, we're fine. No one else is attacking. Going to take this moment to heal up. And you're all morons for letting me sleep. everybody in the tavern and now we have a base of operations Come on, fight. going to finish up around the docks area I know we have one more what is this about red guard <laughs> you'll soon be nothing more than a bad memory <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Onwards and upwards. I have you. Feel kind of bad for this one, but it's time for the Argonian mission. Die. To the gods with you. Your turn to talk. Ours to listen. Your turn to talk, ours to listen. I know that there's one more Argonian. Or perhaps more than one. Hiding down in this area.
kill it. Sorry about that, on one. Now on to the Skyrim mission. We'll start with the ambassador. What's your story? Arr. <laughs> you will die where you stand. Oh, that's, no one else seems to care. How does it feel to know death is near? They're not even reporting the crime. On your way. How oh, was everybody in the Skyrim mission? I'm going to enjoy it. Should be everybody on the street cleared. Now we just need to destroy the Hawkmoth Legion garrison and the Duke's castle. You don't deserve to live, no man. They're all rushing me one at a time, so this is very convenient. I'll just stay here and guard the stairwell. Go ahead and take out these prisoners first before heading upstairs to finish off who Speak up. decided not to come down. You're bested. If you ever find yourself uh, committing homicide against Cirola Sackis, be sure to take his special hammer for your collection. Over in Cirola Sackis's crate, he has the gold armor, which is a official plugin from Bethesda. But as as you can see, this is substantially higher armor rating than anything I have, so this is going on right now. This is a new drip upgrade. Looks kind of dumb, but it's a it's a lot more armor. This one is no more. You will die where you stand. Can't believe Frold the White couldn't be bothered to come down and help. Give in. You're dead already. Everybody in the Hawkmoth Legion garrison has now been eliminated. It's time to take the Grand Council Chambers. Kill in. Not long now. Not much reaction from any of these people. You make this too easy. Always with these death warrants. I suppose he was the only one that's going to come down and attack me. Now you die. Now no one's even bothering to report. You will suffer. Now you die. You're not even trying. What are they hoping to accomplish here? Like just pretend it's not happening, maybe I'll just go away. Haven't used my adrenaline rush in a minute. Let's use it to take out the Duke and his little bodyguard and advisor from House Lalu here. I will enjoy this. Die for Don't I hurt you. No reaction? This is how you're going to spend your last moments.
Duke Vedandran has fallen. Another cog in the Imperial and Halalu machine has been destroyed, and their control of this island has been totally broken. All Imperial interests on Vardenfell have now been destroyed. All that remains of Ebonheart is the Imperial Chapels. So, where are you from? And of course, I'm immediately paralyzed. Everyone in Ebonheart now lies dead. Now I'm going to clear out the village of Dagon Fell. Alright, I'm now coming into Dagon Fell, but there are a few towers that are occupied by a few people just around Dagon Fell, including the one here occupied by Andre Mall, the savant. He has a ton of information to impart upon the player about lore and locations. If you care about that sort of thing. I'm the one known as your doom. That's one tower. And there's Dagon Fell. But we'll get to that in a moment. The guard has already aggroed to us. Call it the vacant tower, but it's not vacant. Cargill Grobogluk lives here. Well, he used to live here. And now it's time to kill Sorkvild the Raven and his minions in the final tower around Aegonfell. We'll stop this guard first. I'm tired of hearing the combat music. Now to Sorkvild's tower. We'll take out his little minions that he has running around here, if they are still alive. Sorkvild the Raven died in a previous episode. In fact, you can see it on my channel. It's called Sorkvild the Raven Gets Clowned On by a Level 1 Nerevarine. Now, this is fighting. now time to finish off Dagon Phil. Speak up. May the wind be on your back. Omni Hard Mouth wasn't hard enough to save your skull. You will die where you stand. Give in. You're dead already. This is too easy. Not even the guards hiding out in towers are safe.
You will die where you stand. The appropriately named the end of the world. You will die where you stand. It will be your blood here, not mine. Ah. Mm. You will die where you stand. Ah. That is everybody in the town of Dagon Fell cleared. All right, after a short 24 hour break to live the rest of my life, we're headed to Telmora as well as Voss. They're pretty close to each other. Uh, probably I'll hit Voss first. Finally made it to Voss, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with Telvoss, the Fort Telvani Tower combined. Finally run into some enemies in the jail. Appears to be everybody in the Telvos jail. Now for the Southern Tower. Going to clear the exterior of Telvani guards first, I guess, since they keep attacking me, even though I can't see them. That's the exterior of Telvos cleared. Now for the Northeastern Tower. Barracks and Armory. 
Speak freely, friend. Let's see what you're made of. This is guys. Give in. Now the services tower. Should be everybody in the services tower. Now only the central tower and the fungus, or the mushroom part of the tower itself remain. Let's clear the central tower. Poor little imprisoned guard. Central tower has been cleared. Now it's time for the Telvani Counselor's Chambers. Master Arion. Definitely going to start with him and not his manservant. He stood no chance. Die. You will die. I'm getting out of here. That is the towers of Telvos cleared in their entirety. Now on to the town proper. Just going door to door for now. This town will have fallen in its entirety soon. You will die. Save the temple for last. What is this about? <laughs> Everybody here has the same shirt on. It's pretty crazy. That's all the houses in Voss except for the temple. Now you die. You in 
<clears throat> now for the tavern and the shipyard. And Voss will be completely clear. And then we head right next door to tell Mora and do the same. Voss and Telvoss have fallen. Now it's time for Telmora. Now you die. Start with the Covenant. Run while you can. Fetcher. Your end is here! Thought you could hide from me up here. Goodbye, Kirsty. You should run now. One of us will die here, and it won't be me. Am I good or what? <laughs> What is this about? Egg! Here it comes. I love that reflect enchantment on the uh, robe of the Drake's Pride. That was all of the shops and homes until Mora, so it's time for the tower. I'm not giving up that easy. Surrender your life to me and I will end your pain. Fight, coward! Stupid ah! fetcher. <laughs> Why you can't. You don't deserve to your growing weak. Hey, have you? You Benwa? You will die. Oh, that was Mistress Dratha herself. Telbora has now also been consigned to the ashes of history. Now on to Telbranora, or the final town that is not Vivek. Alright, we are on approach to Telbranora for the final city of this episode. Got a little congregation here. This should be fun.
All six of them died in one hit. You will die. There is no escape. Are you the one known as the narrow bar? No, I'm the one known as your death. We should have you run while you had a chance. There is no escape. You will suffer greatly. Die, Fetcher. What is this about? You'll soon be nothing more than a bad memory. All shops and homes in Telbranora have been cleared. Now for the tower. And the conclusion of this episode. Now for Mistress Therana. Now, with the fall of Mistress Therana and Felon Marion and the rest of her Telvani associates, every settlement in Vardenfell that is not Vivek has been wiped out. And now, for the next episode, we claim our prize. Join me in Episode 8 of Death to All as we take the war to Vivek. You hear that, City of Vivek? Next episode, you are mine.